planning CAPP so let us start with what is process planning process planning is concerned with determination of sequence of individual manufacturing operations needed to produce a given part or product normally the sequence of manufacturing or production operations can be documented in a form of route sheet if you consider any manufacturing industry they are having route sheet for the manufacturing process the route sheet normally which consists of all the machining operations in a very sequential manner and associated machine tools for a particular work part or an assembly if you consider the flow chart for a process planning of course the facility layout is the first and foremost important thing for the process planning the knowledge of process planning professionals and then the design package may be computer aided design the data in the form of selection of material geometric dimensioning and tolerancing and then the required surface finish level so these data can be given as input for the process planning and industrial engineers the input from industrial engineers the input from tool cage and designers that is measurement engineers and then the input from nc part programmers and of course most importantly the input from process planning professionals so those inputs which are used for creating a process planning the outcome is nothing but a full fledged systematic machining operation plan for a manufacturing process so while preparing the process planning they will consider the constraints in a manufacturing industry or the constraints of a part to be produced and then they will consider the mechanisms which are used for um, creating that particular process next i can move on from process planning to computer aided process planning first of all uh, you should learn about what is computer aided process planning computer aided process planning act as a bridge between design and manufacturing by translating the design specifications into manufacturing process details i would like to give you a, an idea with respect to an industry the application of computer aided process planning the significant of the role of computer aided process planning when you consider an industry manufacturing industry which might have consist of the design department manufacturing department quality control department quality assurance department as well as marketing department these are the various departments which are available in an industry now we have to concentrate only on design department as well as manufacturing department the design department which consist of uh, the activities like the part or geometric model creation and then the selection of geometrical dimensioning and tolerancing the selection of material this is the first and foremost important process for a design activity and then the required surface finish level okay these are the activities which are happening in a design department and then if you consider a manufacturing department the process selection uh, from the route sheet the sequence of operations determined and then the cutting tools required for machining process may be a single point cutting tool or may be a specialized cutting tool it may be depends upon the particular machinery cutting conditions jigs and fixtures especially the work welding devices tool path simulations there are various commercial softwares available 
the industry can use those softwares in order to create the tool path for a particular manufacturing process. Of course, the time calculation for uh, finishing the machining operation and most importantly, the cost calculations or cost analysis. So these are the activities which may be occur in a manufacturing industry. Now, coming to the point, so computer-aided process planning, which acts as a bridge between these design and manufacturing activities. So CAPP, computer-aided process planning, is translating these design inputs into manufacturing process plans. The obtained manufacturing process plans are very systematic one. It is suitable for manufacturing a particular part or a product. Now, I would like to show a flow chart of computer-aided process plan. Uh, if you see the flow chart, it, it will give you a gist of an uh, overall idea about computer-aided process plan. Normally, uh, it employs computer-aided design system. So using any commercial software, the designer can create a, a geometric model or uh, you can choose the selection, you can choose or select the material and then you will uh, check the um, uh, surface, finish, surface finish requirement. These uh, requirements are documented uh, in the form of data. These data can be provided as an input for computer-aided process planning. Of course, the knowledge of uh, process planning engineers uh, with respect to planning rules will give an output. It will be evaluated during post-processing stage. And then finally, the outcome or output of computer-aided process plan is nothing but a systematic uh, production planning and scheduling, which is suitable for any kind of manufacturing industry. So I would like to narrate about an application of computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing for computer-aided process planning. Now, if you see this particular diagram, so this is a CAD activity, computer-aided design activity. This activity is carried out in a design department and the computer-aided manufacturing, it can be carried out in the manufacturing department. So computer-aided process planning will act as a bottleneck between computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing. So earlier we have discussed about uh, CAPP, computer-aided process planning, uh, acts as a bridge between design and manufacturing department. So this is nothing but bottleneck. So CAPP is act as a bottleneck between CAD and CAM. I would like to give a real-time example, which is uh, available in a, a real-time manufacturing industry. So initial form of a part drawing. This is nothing but final form of a part drawing. If you consider and if you compare the initial form and final form, you can get a very clear idea. In the final form, it consists of uh, the full-fledged pot drawing uh, with major dimensions and minor dimensions. Apart from that, the geometric dimensioning as well as tolerancing, selection of material, that means material specifications, and then the sequence of machining operations which are available in the uh, pot drawing. So with the help of this pot drawing only, they can able to proceed further in the manufacturing process. I, I hope this particular final form will give you an idea about what is the role of a CAPP and application of computer-aided design and computer-aided manufacturing for computer-aided process planning. Next, I can move on to developing a process plan. So developing a process plan is the first and foremost important thing. So it requires analysis of parts. Normally, uh, an industry wants to manufacture, uh, for an example, a brake drum or a, a cylinder caliper or an axle. So this is called a part, part of an automotive vehicle. So part requirements should be analyzed first. And then uh, in the process plan, while developing the process plan, 
the first and foremost important thing is selection of raw material or raw work piece um, and then we can proceed for determining the sequence of manufacturing operations so normally any manufacturing industry they will consider the root sheet for uh, determining the manufacturing operations under sequence then they will select the machine tools example lathe with the help of lathe you can perform turning operations or you can perform chamfering of operations then we can proceed for selection of tools uh, maybe a cutting tool or maybe a specialized tool which can be used for special purpose machines or general purpose machines then work holding devices uh, maybe fixtures jigs normally the work holding devices will hold the work piece or job and then inspection equipments in order to ensure the accuracy in order to ensure the uh, exact dimension of the machined component the industry can use the inspection equipment or measuring devices like a dial gauge micrometer vernier caulifier as well as vernier height gauge these are all the um, inspection equipment which is used to provide an idea about accuracy and requirement as per the pot drawing then determining machining conditions machining conditions are nothing but cutting speed feed and depth of cut so you might have come across in manufacturing technology these terminologies cutting speed is nothing but the speed of the cutting tool feed is nothing but the um, the distance traveled by the cutting tool during a complete revolution of a one complete revolution of a spindle depth of cut is nothing but the thickness of the material removed uh, during the one revolution of the spindle and manufacturing times it is nothing but setup time processing time and lead time the time taken for fixing the workpiece or fixing the job is called as setup time the time required for completing the machining operations means that the operations which are specified in a in a sequential manner with respect to the root sheet root sheet which we have come across in the beginning of my lecture and they will refer the particular root sheet they will see the machining operations are carried out in a sequential manner and then they will consider the lead time is one of the significant manufacturing time lead time is nothing but the time difference between the uh, receival of order and then the delivery of the product so setup time processing time and lead times are coming under manufacturing times cutting speed and feed and depth of cut these are the important parameters which are for machining conditions next i can move on to process planning approaches there are two approaches available one is manual approaches that is called as manual systems the second one is computer aided systems computer aided systems can further classified into three different um, subsystems one is variant systems it can also be called as retrieval systems the second one is the most important one experimental generative system and then the third one is hybrid systems so two types one is manual the second one is computer aided systems we will see one by one with respect to a practical application and with respect to industry point of view so let us start with the manually prepared process plan so manually prepared process plan it can also be called as traditional process plan so in order to prepare a process plan the manufacturing industry requires a skilled individuals or skilled process planning engineers normally they will examine or inspect a pot drawing in order to develop the necessary instruction for the process plan so normally the manually prepared process plan requires the knowledge of the manufacturing cap capabilities of the factory suppose if a process planning engineer is assigned to prepare a, a process plan for a 
manufacturing a connecting rod or for manufacturing the ic engine components or you can consider manufacturing a automotive part um, the particular person should have knowledge about the manufacturing capabilities of the industry or factory so it should be documented apart from that the person should have knowledge about the machining uh, machining processes and the process capabilities the machine tools materials uh, most importantly the standard practices and then the associated cost cost is the very significant one if you are not able to manufacture any part or product it may be an automotive component or it may be an uh, ancillary component the optimum cost is very very essential so that's why they are going for process planning process widely used manually prepared process plan is widely used of course it is a time consuming one because we are employing manpower in order to prepare the process plan if you consider a considerable period for example over one year or six months period a manually prepared process plan will not be consistent the reason is if, if you consider x y and z industry automotive industry x automotive industry y automotive industry z so they were assigned to prepare a process plan for manufacturing a ic engine which may consist of uh, many parts so when they are developing a process plan they are employing different process planning engineers in uh, in the concern industry so even though the procedure standard practices are same the thinking experience and creativity may vary that is why so when they are employing the manually manual process so variation is possible that's why the manually prepared process plan may not be consistent uh, may not be consistent uh, as well as it gives some variation with respect to company x company y and company z then excessive time and cost may be required to prepare the manually prepared process plan or traditional process plan since we are employing the um, uh, ma 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 manpower in order to prepare the process plan and then uh, the cost the time and cost incurred for uh, preparing the process plan will be more that's why nowadays in most of the automotive industries in most of the um, automotive industries they are not using manually prepared process plan or traditional process plan they are mo moving into the generative type or variant type before proceeding to computer aided process plan you should have an idea about a detailed process plan which was prepared in a manufacturing industry so this is the uh, chart for process plan so here they are mentioning about part number of a particular part or component so part name is housing part number or part code is s0125-f and then it was originally prepared by some professional in this particular date it was checked the process plan is checked by another professional on a particular date and then the process plan is approved by another professional uh, with particular date uh, if you see that the material specifications are also available if, when you change when you do any modifications in the process plan or when you do any changes the date of changes also should be mentioned in the particular process plan if you see if you go through this particular process plan which is used in an industry it gives a clear indication about the sequence of manufacturing operations or the sequences a sequence of production operations uh, mill bottom surface one and mill top surface drill so milling mill top surface drilling or the machining operations should be carried out for uh, manufacturing a housing workstation also specified setup arrangement the tools which are used for uh, making this particular part face mill face mill with particular specifications twist drill etc the time taken for each and every machining operations also specified in a very systematic manner so this process plan uh, is more uh, than a root sheet which consists of 
the sequence of machining operation workstation details setup details and as well as tool tool details for the particular operations apart from that the time taken for each and every machining operations so now uh, you have to understand the difficulties in the traditional process planning or manual process planning why nowadays industries are not going for traditional process planning or manual process planning there are some difficulties there are some constraints the first one is when you consider three automotive industry x y z and if you are employing uh, three uh, process planning engineers even though they are adopting the standard practice uh, standard procedures but creativity exposure as well as experience are different from person a person b and person c so that for a particular part let us consider ic engine connecting rod or um, uh, yeah axle of a automotive vehicle so for that particular part they are planning to prepare the process plan so uh, when you compare the process plan prepared by x y z so you can find a lot of variations a lot of variations not only in uh, design but also in details dimensioning details that's that is the reason for over a period of time the manual or traditional process planning is neglected and in one extreme case the if you prepare the uh, manual process plan uh, it should be accomplished with a part drawing and then with specific instructions most of the firms or most of the industries they are providing a more detailed list of steps the, about each and every operations as well as each and every machine tools traditionally the task for manufacturing industries in a firm manufacturing engineers in a firm is to write this process planning for a new part designs for an existing part uh, like uh, ic engine components or automotive components they might have uh, yeah exact or systematic process plan suppose uh, if an industry wants to develop a new part uh, the part is in r and d so for that they have to create a new uh, part the next one is manufacturing engineers responsibility is to determine an optimal routing for each new part design then i can proceed for computer aided systems so so far we have discussed about a manual process planning now we can move on to computer aided process planning so first of all you should understand computer aided systems how it can go for a significant role or a key factor in the integration of computer aided design and computer aided manufacturing the use of computer in process planning can uh, have some advantages one is it produce accurate and consistent process plan uh, when you go for a new product design and development you have to produce so many process plans for each and every part to be manufactured so those process plans should be accurate and consistent one so when you are using computer aided systems or computer aided process planning so you can get accurate and consistent process plan reduce the cost and lead time so lead time is nothing but the time difference between the order receivable from the customer and delivery of a full fledged product so the cost optimum cost is the mantra for any manufacturing industry so they want to reduce the cost by means of a process computer aided process planning so increase productivity you all know about the difference between production and productivity in that case when you are using computer aided process planning it increases productivity nothing but output by input and production is nothing but the number of products or number of parts manufactured per unit time the most important advantage of computer aided process planning with the help of computer aided systems it increase responsiveness to engineering changes when you give a part drawing for approval uh, your superior might have given a suggestion so uh, the tool which are using for computer aided design which gives flexibility to make changes within the stipulated time period 
also according to the creativity of the uh, designer according to the requirement of the customer you can make any changes in the part design so that the part can be acceptable by the customer without any defects computer aided process planning so normally which can avoid all the defects variations available in the manually prepared process planning so it capture the program logic judgment and experience required for this important functions and most importantly the logic program logic judgments and experience are incorporated in the computer programs the program automatically generates the manufacturing operation sequence in the earlier case the manufacturing operation sequence was um, derived by the uh, uh, manually but in this case the program automatically generates the ma manufacturing or production operation sequence that means the root sheet of a particular part or a product can be generated automatically so it can avoid any uh, error human errors or any dimensional errors etc cfpp reducing the routine clerical work of manufacturing engineers so since the computer program which generates the manufacturing operation sequence so the routine clerical work or uh, the routine work of manufacturing engineers can be reduced uh, there are some alternative approaches to computer aided process planning have been developed these are the very significant one in any automotive industry or any uh, automated industries also the first one is retrieval or variant type computer aided process planning the second one is generative type computer aided process planning the third one is hybrid computer aided process planning system i will discuss one by one in a very systematic manner so before proceeding for retrieval or variant type of systems you have to understand uh, the production process production planning as a process planning and production process in an industry so, so uh, if you consider the design department which can carry out the part model preparation and then uh, they will give it to uh, production planning department they will prepare tooling and fixture design and then uh, cmm programming now we are concentrating on process planning this particular stage in an industry and then tool libraries which can give wide variety of tools which are available these are the manufacturing uh, tools manufacturing processes like uh, direct numerical control shop floor program validation computer numerical control machines and then uh, shop floor data access and then tool management it is very important to get the required tool in a very systematic manner cmm inspection so these are the arrangements normally in production department so cappp how it is bridging uh, between design and planning so uh, one of the sub type of cappp is variant or retrieval type so it consists of a four step process a variant and retrieval type the first step is definition of coding scheme grouping parts into part families by using group technology if you consider a yeah, part families so bowls with the different designations can be considered as a part family one nuts with the different designation according to the requirement of a part can be considered as a part family too so with the help of group technology grouping parts into part families the most important thing is development of a standard process plan standard process plan which consists of the sequence of manufacturing operations or production operations with machine tools details the next one is retrieval and modification of standard process plan when you go for a new product development in an industry the design department will propose an approved design the production planning department they have to consider the particular part and they have to check with the existing file which is available in the computer database so that is why retrieval and modification of standard process plane 
plays a very significant and systematic role in type of CAPP system. Of course, variant type and generative type and hybrid type are three different types of uh, CAPP system in which variant type CAPP systems can be used for small and moderate pot development, process development. And uh, uh, next one is retrieval type CAPP variant system. Further, if I go for variant systems, so pot are distinguished according to pot families with the help of group technology. Standard process plan is developed for each and every pot. And normally the standard process plan is stored in the computer file and then retrieved for the uh, similar work pots when you go for a new product development of a particular pot or for a particular product. The CAPP program, computer aided process planning program, then searches that new pot with respect to family matrix file to determine any existing match exists. So normally they will consider the identical code number of a pot, standard machine routing, and then operation sequence and retrieval form. With respect to these things only, they will check whether it can be matched with any existing pot families. Now, the standard process plan is examined and edited the pot design and prepared in a proper form and documented in a very systematic manner. So if you consider this particular flow chart, you can get a very good idea about retrieval type or variant type computer aided process planning system. So in this case, normally the user, uh, user process planning engineer enters pot code number. You know that each and every pot consists of pot code number with respect to pot family. Pot families can distinguished with the help of a group technology and pot family search can be happening. And then with reference to pot family matrix file. And then the next one is um, after pot family distinguished, then they will go for standard machine routing retrieve with respect to machine routing file. So with respect to or with reference to machine routing file, they will select standard machine routing retrieve. And then they can proceed for standard operation retrieve uh, if needed, they can edit or update or modify also with reference to operation sequence file. Finally, with the help of process plan formatter, they can prepare a exact and systematic process plan that can be used for manufacturing a particular product or manufacturing a, a required product in a very systematic way. I would like to give one more uh, industrial example uh, with the respect to variant or retrieval type computer aided process planning. So let us consider this L bracket, L bracket. This is the pot, new pot to be um, produced or to be manufactured for that. So the process planning, the role of uh, process planning engineers, um, they will look into any existing pot or similar pot which is available in the process plan file or uh, normally the process plan files are stored in the computer database. They will check any similarity with respect to new part to be developed. So now uh, this is the file, existing file, which is available in the database. Now they are comparing the available file with respect to the new part to be developed. So in this case, when they are comparing the existing file, with respect to a new part to be developed, they can come to a conclusion. So here, additionally, a slot is available. So they will give some suggestions. So remove slot and increase the width. These are the suggestions with respect to the existing uh, part family file, which is available in the computer database. So now in the next slide, you can able to understand so the modification suggested by the process planning engineers. So with respect to the existing file, which is available in the computer um, process planning database. So they have suggested the following modifications in order to, uh, in order to go for a new part. 
remove slot remove slot operations and then change the width of the uh, bracket l bracket so these two suggestions are recommended by process planning engineers so now you can get the new part as per the required design or as per the required dimensions this is an example basic example the same kind of uh, modification or the same kind of comparisons can be extended even for a pot assembly even for a, uh, a complicated pot or moderate pot also the, the the thing is normally they will search for an existing file and they will compare with respect to a new pot to be developed and then the process planning engineers normally they will suggest uh, things in order to go for the new pot so based on the modification suggested by the process planning engineers the required pot can be obtained now one more industrial example now this is the plain plain surface of a workpiece in the first case a slot slot is provided another um, in, in this case a step is created in this case a slot two side slots uh, can be created here the side slot is created here a cylindrical hole is created so it's a step by step operation in order to create a sample pot if you want to convert the plane geometry into the required pot so you have to proceed in a systematic step by step manner here the first machining operation and then here slotting should be carried out and here the side step should be carried out with the help of a machine tool and here the cylindrical hole should be created with the help of a drilling machine conventional drilling machine or a radial drilling machine or vertical drilling machine now there are some advantages and disadvantages when you consider variant computer aided process plan the advantage is you can get the standardized procedures um, because the standardized procedures only can be stored in the computer database whenever if you want to go for uh, developing a new product or a new part normally they will retrieve the standardized procedures and they will compare with the new part if it matches with some modifications they will give uh, suggestions in order to create a new part in a very simple manner so lower development time so the time required for uh, creating or preparing the standardized procedures root sheets will be less as well as less hardware cost shorter development times so time required for developing this uh, process will be very less apart from that efficient processing and evaluation of complicated activities parts and decisions arrived from this will be very simple when you are using for variant computer aided process plan so but um, based on my experience i can say that so in this case it is only used for uh, some small and uh, medium uh, size pot or products it consists of some disadvantages so normally when you go for editing or modifications you can find some inconsistency when you are using for variant computer aided process plan apart from that the quality of the process plan is fully depend on the uh, person who is developing the standard process plan it requires a lot of experience lot of knowledge for him and then optimization of variables such as materials geometry size precision quality alternatives processing sequences and machine loading these are the variables or variables it has to be optimized in a systematic manner so now we can proceed for generative capp methodology so then only you can able to get an idea about what is the difference between variable uh, variable capp methodology and generative capp methodology process plans are automatically generated by means of decision logic formulae and then technology algorithm based on the geometry based data so now there are two essential components one is geometry based another one is knowledge based when you consider a geometry based so you have to consider feature dimensions and then locations 
tolerance and surface finish. When you consider the knowledge based, the automotive matching of the port geometry requirements with the manufacturing capabilities. Excuse me. Hello. 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 Using process knowledge in the form of decision logic and data. So generative CAPP Sir, tell me. Where are you from, sir? Oh, come on, come on. Accept. I have given accept. Yes. Now it is okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. So generative computer aided process planning methodology. So far we have discussed about um, retrieval type and now I can proceed for uh, generative type. The process planning is generated with the help of, there are essentially two major components. One is geometry based, another one is knowledge based. Geometry based which consists of feature dimensions, locations, and tolerance and surface finish. Knowledge based, which consists of the manufacturing capabilities, process knowledge in the form of decision logic and data. So normally they will go for generative computer aided process planning because it is automatically generated. The error or development time can be reduced because the generative computer aided process plan is purely based on program logic mathematical formulae and technology algorithm. So now if you see this flow chart, you can have a very good idea about this. Generative computer aided process planning, the user process planning engineer with the help of a part on code, with the help of a technical and logical decisions, the process plan can be prepared by considering the cap machine tools capabilities which are available in a manufacturing industry. So the user is nothing but process planning engineer uh, for each and every part from the part family with the help of a code you can identify and uh, with the help of technical and logical decisions a proper systematic process plan can be generated by considering capabilities of machine tools which are available in an industry or factory. So now I can move on to hybrid computer aided process planning. So hybrid system is nothing but the combination of a, a retrieval system as well as generative type. So normally the retrieval or variant type of a, a computer aided process planning is exactly suitable for small and medium size component. When you go for a complicated part or a bigger part, normally they will prefer the generative type process planning. So Hybrid process planning is somewhat the combination of uh, and the combination and application of both retrieval as well as uh, generative type process plan. Now, process planning system. There are softwares, commercial software, which are used by various manufacturing industry uh, throughout the world. For example, uh, the variant computer aided process planning. For that, M plan, M I turn, Univation, these are the etc. These are the softwares which are available. With the help of this software, uh, any industry can prepare the computer aided process plan. And for preparing the generative computer aided process planning, so normally they will use uh, Kaplan, IQ, and then GOPDE, most importantly, the TAT and TIPS. So AU TAP is used to buy most of the multinational companies and most of the automotive industries. And hybrid CAPP, it's nothing but application of both variant and generative CAPP, but uh, it provides uh, a significant process plan. Uh, it can be created with the help of Complan and uh, um, RDCAP, etc. 
So next I can move on to machinability data system. The machinability data systems are based on two types. One is mathematical model based and then the second one is database system. The mathematical modeling based that empirically derived equations like objective function subjected to constraint uh, that fit a range of experimental data. Database system that enable the machinability data, various machinability data, sequence of operations, sequence of machine tools, and then the tool record, tool parts record, everything will be stored in the database. So whenever need, the process planning engineers, they can retrieve from the uh, database system. Next, I can move on to mathematical modeling. So mathematical modeling, you might have come across in uh, uh, computer-aided design. Mathematical modeling represents machinability variables. Now, I would like to give some real-time example for machinability variables. So metal removal rate, that is MRR, tool wear rate, TWR, pot surface finish. These are the three important machinability parameter. Now, with the help of mathematical model, how can you express y is, is equal to function of x1, x2, x3. So y is equal to function of x1, x2, x3. Suppose in a, another typical case, if you consider four parameter, four parameter variables, apart from that metal removal rate, tool wear rate, pot surface finish, and then uh, depth of cut. So it can be expressed as y is equal to function of x1, x2, x3, and x4. It, in the similar manner, uh, uh, in the similar manner, one can define parameter variables um, in the form of y is equal to function of with respect to the number of metal cutting parameters considered. And then the most important mathematical model for metal cutting process is Taylor's tool life. Normally, the Taylor's tool life can be uh, calculated with the help of this mathematical formula. V T uh, N is equal to C. So V is cutting speed. T, capital T or small t is denoted for tool life in terms of minutes. N is empirically derived tool life exponent. C is nothing but constant for a material. So with the help of this Taylor tool life formula, one can able to calculate the tool life for any uh, single point cutting tool or any specialized tool normally used for machining operations. So now I can proceed for database systems. Uh, if you consider this particular flow chart, so how database systems which can retrieve the feed rate and speed as an output. So now input given by uh, the manufacturing professionals Machinability processing program, with the help of machinability processing program, the input is processed and with respect to material file and with respect to tool file, it can be further processed as mathematical model in order to evaluate feed rate, uh, feed rate and uh, speed, cutting speed, the speed of the cutting tool. Uh, feed rate is nothing but the distance traveled by the cutting tool uh, during a single revolution of a spindle. So these are the things will be evaluated uh, in the mathematical model and the output will be the, the systematic data which can be used for optimum manufacturing of a particular part or product. Now I can move on to benefits of computer-aided process planning. So far we have discussed about variant or retrieval type process planning and then generative type process planning and then a hybrid process planning. Variant type is suitable for uh, a, a medium or a small component, but generative type is suitable for even a complicated pot, even a pot assembly. Hybrid is combination and application of both. So there are uh, benefits of computer-aided process planning. That's why the computer-aided process planning is plays a significant role in all automotive uh, as well as automated industries nowadays. So the, with the help of computer-aided process planning, it increases the productivity. It's nothing but output by input. Uh, it increases computer-aided process plan, increases consistency of plan. 
when when we are comparing with a manually prepared plan you can get variations but when you are using any computer aided process plan it increases the consistency also it increases the accuracy and capacity utilization will be more ability to introduce new technology is also possible apart from that it reduces lead time the time difference between the job order remo- uh, job over, job order received from a customer and delivery of a particular product in a completed manner and routine clerical work can be avoided with the help of a capp when you go for manually prepared process plan the manufacturing engineer supposed to do lot of clerical work but with the help of capp it can reduced manufacturing and process planning cost also reduced because with the help of a mathematical model various machining parameters or various machining parameter variables are optimized that's why manufacturing and process planning cost also optimized working process also reduced skill requirement of the planner even a process planning engineer with minimum skill minimum exposure he can able to prepare a proper com- a proper process plan with the help of a computer aided process planning that's why in most of the industries nowadays they are using computer aided process planning and they are reducing the error and then uh, lead time of the process plan also decreased and now this particular picture uh, is taken from an automated uh, automotive industry so the robots the various robots are available you can see that the robots are employed uh, for various uh, um, various operations one particular robo is performing the welding operation another robo is performing uh, some joining operations like that so even for automotive industry even for car manufacturing industry uh, so the industry the people they have to prepare a sequence of machining operations the sequence of machining operations should be documented in the form of route sheet so with the help of computer aided process planning the optimum sequence of uh, machining operations or production for operations are um, documented in a proper manner or in a systematic manner and even when when we are using the robots um, uh, even input as a program for the robots it can do in a very systematic manner that is why uh, the error can be avoided and we can manufacture number of parts without any errors or without any uh, issues so this is an industrial scenario now you can able to understand in a proper manner how the computer aided process planning is used for manufacturing a automotive part like a car so even though we are using a precision equipment like robot it requires some systematic input in the form of programs so the systematic input can be obtained with the help of a computer aided process planning so it requires um it requires input from the process planning engineers that's why computer aided process planning plays a very significant role in automotive industry aerospace industry and then manufacturing industry why not even for hardware making industry so uh, i hope all the students might have understood the significance and the applications of uh, um computer aided process planning for any manufacturing process Thank you for your patience listening so i would like to conclude this session.